This is question 21 and it's a question involving mixed numbers and fractions and fraction multiplication. So what we've got to do is we've got to show that the left hand side here equals the right hand side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just work on the left hand side and see if I can turn it into eight and three quarters. So I'm going to start by writing the left hand side as top heavy fractions. So I'm going to convert each one of these fractions into a top heavy fraction. So if I start with a two and one third, then I can do that by times in the bottom of the fraction with the whole number. So times there and then adding the result to the top of the fraction. So if I go three times two, that will give me six plus one is seven. So that's the top of the new fraction. And then the bottom still stays as it is. So that is a three. So that's the two and one third written as a top of a fraction. Another word for it is an improper fraction. And if we now look at the three and three quarters, we can see that if we do the same process, four times three is 12. Add the three on the top will give me 15. So I've got 15 over four. So now I'm going to try and do that calculation. I'm going to times seven over three by 15 over four. And first of all, what I can do is anything on the top line will cancel with anything on the bottom line. So, for example, we can see we've got a three here. And because three goes into 15, I can actually divide that by three and that will give me one. And I can divide that by three and that will give me five. So now if I multiply straight across, what I've got is seven times five will give me 35. And that's over four because one times four is just four. Now I'm going to convert it back into a mixed number and a fraction. And to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 35 over four and I'm going to divide the number on the top, which is the 35 by four. And if I do that, four goes into 35 eight times because four times eight is 32. So I can write an eight there and then I need the remainder. So the remainder there is three because four times eight was 32 and I was trying to get to 35. So the remainder is three. Now I can put that into a mixed number and a fraction and then the whole number is the eight. And then the top of the new fraction is three and the bottom of the fraction is four because that's the one I was dividing by in the first place. So that goes there, that goes there, and the whole number is the number of times it went in. So that is correct then. We have actually shown that the left-hand side does equal the right-hand side of the equals. And that's it. So I hope that's been helpful to you. And if it has, please consider subscribing to our channel and also giving our video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.